Whoa, whoa, that's wrong video. What's up gamers, it's me again. Hope you're doing great. This is the second and the final part of this video. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure you do so to get the taste of what exactly going on here. It's somewhere here or down below. And if you already watched it, there's no point in wasting our time here. So let's get straight into the video. So we're halfway there completing our second person game. What comes in your mind when you see this guy with sword? Of course, he should attack. Let's animate attack. <laughs> this is how it's gonna attack. Just kidding man, we have better animation coming right now. I've just found some reference on the internet and could not decide which one to choose. But fortunately, I chose one and started animating. This looks better now. Then I created player stat script which is gonna handle the incoming attack and the damage dealt by the attack and health. Then I created the health bar above player's head which is gonna reflect the player's health. Now what happens is, whenever the enemy initiates the attack, our player is already taking damage, like before even the attack animation. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that later. But first, let's animate one more thing. Death animation. <laughs> this time I referred the same video I used for the attack animation and started animating. And this is how the death animation end up with. Looks sick! Also make sure you like the video and subscribe the channel if you find this video interesting. And also comment down below what you think about this video and any suggestions on the improvement of the content. Now it's time for enemy stats. It's the same shit as the player stats, but the only difference is it's gonna handle the enemy's health. Now the gameplay seems to work great, but still we are missing some of the things. What? Man, they're using sword and slicing each other with that sword. Of course, we're gonna need a blood, so I've added it using Unity's built in particle system. Now that makes sense. Then I added some post processing using Unity's post processing stack. I did not use the HDRP pipeline because it's kind of a ray tracing and I want everyone to try this game even if someone has the low end PC. And you know, sometimes we need to take a break while playing video games. Because it's necessary. That's why the god invented the pause system. I mean, not the god, but still, the point is we cannot pause the game. Then I worked on UI and UI animations because I don't like the static objects. Then I created some more interesting levels. Don't worry, not gonna spoil every level in this video. Gonna leave it to you so you can try out the links somewhere down below for the game. And what's the point in game when there is no boss? Uh, then I created a giant enemy. Just duplicate the other one and scale it twice. And forgot to mention, we have our Discord server live now. Join the server, interact with me and have fun in the group discussions. Make sure you watch this video, how I end up in the GMTK's Game Jam 2021. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.